Why, hello there. And welcome back to War Thunder. And we're greeted in this game with a mouse that is uh, severely glitched into the wall there, to the rock wall. I'm in a platoon with uh, many miles away driving his mouse, and I'm driving my Yak Tiger. I don't have the mouse yet. Um, I think about two thirds, I think it would be a safe uh, guesstimate as to how close I am. But that was kind of amusing. <laughs> see a mouse spawned inside the rock on its side just glitching out. I don't even know what you do to help him. I don't think you really can. But in this video I'm going to talk a lot about uh, sort of 8.0 battle rating Germany. It's a battle rating I've traditionally not liked very much because quite frankly the, it just gets outmatched by its competition. And But when I on my uh, early mouse impressions video from the dev server uh, I talked a bit about how I thought the mouse was gonna sort of change the dynamic and give machines like the Yag Tiger a chance to perform and I don't think it's wrong my experience has been so far playing sort of the end of uh, the German tech tree is that the mouse seems to have ticked that box that Germany needed to tick in War Thunder. They needed something that had one had a turret and two had armor. I don't think speed really meant a lot. And the reason I say that is the main issue that Germany had is that their tanks were too prone to getting flanked and I mean the only 8.0 battle rating tank the Germans had uh, but prior to 1.47 was the Jag Tiger. And Yag Tigers are powerful tanks, but they are not that good at, say, capping a zone or advancing across ground to, you know, engage enemies at closer ranges. So it was always my experience that the German team had a very defined way of playing the game. We knock out a, I believe that's an M46, yeah. The German team, the way I've, at least I've seen it, the Russian or American team always rushes forward and caps. Right? And the German team sits back a little bit and then snipes them out. And once, you know, the enemy team is basically dead, then you move forward and you take the zone. And I've seen that done many times where, uh, and to great effect, where the enemy team, where the enemy German team just wins because we're out of tanks, or we just win really hard because we can keep them away from the zone the entire game. So it's kind of bold here, poked over the edge. Uh, wouldn't normally do this, but I was trying to nail this uh, nail this T-32, and we do, and then I immediately decide to go over the edge because I'm sitting silhouetted across the skyline. It's better to be down here, and I can use all the speed to get into cover and then move up and help push into A. Because at this point, we do need to be pushing the cap. We have plenty of uh, fire support on the ridge. So myself, and I believe, I think at the end of the day, I think it's going to be two mouses, a, pan a Panther two, and myself in the cap circle, which is in a hell of a lot of armor to have in uh, one spot. Thank God there weren't any bombs. But the mouse, I th back to what I was saying, I think the mouse has changed a lot. It, it's Well, I mean, it's changed a lot in terms of the dynamic of 8.0 battle rating games. I feel more secure when I drive my Yag Tiger. I, there's not a target on me. Uh, generally, people target the mouse because the mouse is honestly a more potent tank. Right? It has the same gun as the Yag Tiger. Just the, you know, tank version, not the tank destroyer version. It has a turret. It has very tough armor that really, really, that you need a lot of attention to uh, knock it out. Now, this shot, tell me what you think about this one. It's not often that you bounce the front plate of a T-54 with the Ag Tiger, but when you do, um, I don't know, I felt kind of robbed. <laughs> felt like I should have penetrated that shot, but, you know, I didn't, and uh, whatever. But currently, we're taking the zone. I'm trying to clean up this T-54, but he got knocked out by my platoon mate. 
and now I'm going to decide to just move into the cap. I was waiting there to see if anyone else would swing by, but regrettably they didn't. So, as I was saying, because I always get sidetracked, tangents are a must. The mouse gives the German team something really interesting, but also kind of, it's, it's different, you know, it's, the mouse can generally go forward. It's slow, it's turret doesn't turn as fast as it did on the dev server, but with some type of support, like a uh, sniping support, the mouse can go forward essentially on its own. And with maybe Panther 2s in the wings, uh, you have a serious potent attack. It's something the German teams never, haven't had for, certainly not the 8.0 battle rating, because none of their tanks could really go forward and meet the enemy uh, in the cap circle. And I say that, the King Tiger 105 theoretically could, but the armor I never thought was up to snuff against T-54s, who are faster and uh, like more maneuverable, and their gun you know reloads faster, and it's a higher cal it's well same caliber gun, but has a more potent shell in my opinion uh, when it comes to sheer damage once you penetrate, and they can always penetrate your uh, turret face or your lower plate or the side of your tank so there were some serious issues issues there now my platoon mate has just been set on fire by an IS-4 which is which is awkward I'm gonna try and come over here and wiggle some shots up there but it's gonna be very difficult but the key thing I've noticed from ga games playing at the sort of 8.0 battle rating um, as both American rush as well not both all American Russian and German is that German teams now have a serious they have a, they have a serious chance. I think the T-54 is still going to determine games. But as it goes, I feel like the mouse has sort of changed the way uh, German teams can play and also how sort of changed the dynamic where it's not always just T-54s pub stomping. Uh... There were many times when I was playing either Americans or Russians and we would aggressively, you know, take the early portions of the game, but then the mouses would show up or uh, what have you. Something would happen. Usually mouses start showing up and we would just lose <laughs> because, I mean, the mouse is slow, but it's fast enough to get to the cap circle. The way that the Russian and American teams will deal with, you know, sort of mouse advance is by just making sort of a pocket that the mouses have to advance into. Uh, like making almost a cup that you're catching all the mouses in and then you just shoot them in the flanks, right? It's because if you make a little uh, horseshoe around the cap circle, they can't go in. Or when they do, they'll be shot in the sides. And the mouse has really good side armor, but it doesn't have such side armor that a T-54 can't kill it. Uh, matter of fact, no tank, I think it sees, can't penetrate its side armor. It's not, you know, the mouse needs to be angled, catch it square on the side, and you, you can kill it. From the front, it's very, very difficult. You generally have to go for the turret face. And even then, it's very difficult to knock a mouse out from the turret. It needs to be, uh, say, like a... In my experience, it's usually needed to be a T-54 shell, uh, a lucky one that gets a good ricochet or something like that, or a 122mm shell that uh, penetrates and explodes inside, and even then it usually takes two, one to each side of the turret or something like that. But that's easily avoidable, avoided by angling the turret. And what's happening here is a T-54 has uh, gone down through our uh, spawn, and is now behind us. So I'm starting to come over here and he's gonna appear right over here setting up a little ambush for him. And hello! Bye bye! And so the the big thing I uh, from 1.47 for the 8.0 battle rating is the mouse is kind of changing things and that's really nice. I don't know if it's going to completely balance the tier. I think, you know, you still need something else for the Germans to make it uh, 
hopefully a 50-50 split. But it is, but in my experience, the mouse has been a positive influence for the Germans, and just for the sake of competitive gameplay, it's been good for the Russian teams as well, and American teams. Although I will say the Russian tanks still are, in my opinion, leaps and bounds above the others. It's sort of like the other nationalities have perfected one thing. The German, the Russian tanks are pretty good at a lot of things. For example, the T-54 is pretty good at many things. IS-4 is pretty good at a lot of things. Uh, the Ag Tiger is pretty good from the front, pretty weak from the side and rear. The uh, America, the M103, very efficient long-range sniper, but not so much at close range and uh, when you know dealing with very mobile threats. But that was a fun game. I've been wanting to post a Yag Tiger video for a while, and this was a this was a fun one. And you can see my progress to uh, the good old mouse there. So yeah, about two thirds, something like that. Hopefully I'll get it soon. Hopefully I can have a review uh, for that before too long. But uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I've been Corny Swiss, and I'll see you next time.